sort of homemade embellishment idea. So if you are like me and my grandmother, I'm kicking myself that I didn't think of this before we started cleaning out our house. So um, if you're like most of us, you get sent to your house solicitations to do donate to charity. Or if you have donated to the charity, they send you back a little gift. Frequently it's return address labels. Now, I get a lot of these. My grandmother, who was a hugely um, charitable person and donated hundreds if not thousands of dollars every year to bunches of little charities, had boxes full of return address labels when she passed away. I, we threw them away. I wish I had thought of this before we did that, but I didn't. Um, but that's okay. I still have quite a few of them um, with our house residence address on them which we don't use for mailing. We have a P.O. box. So instead of throwing them away, they're stickers, right? Why don't I make some sort of handmade um, sticker embellishment that I can use in my journals out of them, right? So what I first thing I did was I coated them with a layer of gesso because they are glossy. And so I let that dry and now I'm going to paint and stencil on them and I'm going to speed forward through the process and I'll be back. Okay, that's the first layer of paint. We're gonna let that dry. I'm not gonna put down more than three colors of wet paint at one time. Um, and I'm not gonna, uh, those three colors need to be colors that will blend well. So in this case, pink and blue 
and purple because they would all the pink and blue would blend and make purple um if you added anything that was yellow in here you would just get mud so i don't want mud so i'm going to let this dry and then i'm going to come back because we're by no means done and i will speed through that process also I'll be okay back. here is the first coat of our three colors of paint on our labels we are going to add more paint and marks to our labels the question is what colors am i going to put i don't know um <laughs> don't know maybe green picking colors is like the hardest thing yeah, it's not bad you don't have to make marks that make any sense or that even look pretty because when you pull these apart into the labels the label is only this big right and you can even cut them smaller colors do I have out here? Oh, this is a nice one. This is a distress paint. This is mustard seed. I'm going to keep going like this in layers and I'm going to finish it off. The last layer will be black and maybe white. So I am going to go in with paints you don't have to have the same products I do use what you have most of what's on here are craft paints they're not artist paints there's nothing wrong with those you could use paint pens um, other kind of markers um, just have fun with it and make some painty marks you could put collage on here if you wanted and we may end up doing some of that just build up your layers of color and interest you're not looking to make a completed composition we are making embellishments so a small part of this is going to be used to embellish future future happy mail or art journal pages all right, so we're gonna let that dry, and we Any will be wet back. Any paint will work. I happen to have this um, artist grade paint. This is a Lucas um, brand uh, fluid acrylic. It's not the same as golden. It's not as translucent, um, but it'll work for what we want 
to do. So I've got some on an old book page there. I'm going to start with making some circles. Um, let's do this big one first. I've got my little yellow bucket here, which is another bucket that lives on my desk that has just a tiny small sampling of my mark making tools um, that I can grab easily without having to get my whole huge giant box down because yeah I do have a giant box of mark making tools. I have two big boxes of homemade stamps, um, some made out of craft foam, some hand carved. I'm actually dying to do some more of that by my arm is better. So you see how by putting this just this black on here suddenly everything just starts popping. And this is just a lid off of I think it's off of one of my hair products. It's so one thing I noticed about turning 50 is my hair is suddenly very dry, so I use a spray and leave-in conditioner. It's probably TMI, but anyway. I'm not going to waste the paint any more than I have to, so I'm going to roll it off like that. This is a little plumbing part. Nothing fancy. Now if you have big sticker sheets that you're doing this to and you're doing a project like the documented life or my year in my life journal, you definitely could cut these up into round embellishments. Um, but these are return address labels, remember, so they're going to be little rectangles unless you cut them into a different shape. Okay. And let's see what else do we have. Ooh. I have a fork. I've got this little, this is a Martha Stewart tool. I don't know what it's called, but it comes in a set with different sizes. The little foam things on the end come off sometimes, but you know, I'm thinking now if I you use sticky back craft foam and like if you have a, a small little punch or a die cut machine that has a little circle, you could just make a new one and stick a new one on there. So we're not looking to make anything that makes sense necessarily. You're not looking to make a pretty composition. As a whole, you're going to only look to be making an interesting small piece to use as embellishment. That's what we're doing, right? Okay. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'll take a second look at it and see if it's done. I do think I might want to add some white shapes. You could just keep going with this and just go crazy. Um, but I want to let it dry first because I don't want to make gray. I want to have black and white. So we're going to let that dry and I'll be when right back. When you have some leftover black paint from a project like the Sticker Sheets project, um, we want to use up the leftover paint. You, As you all know, I'm all about using the leftover paint. So instead of just scraping it onto my deli paper, I mean, I mean my draw paper, I grabbed a piece of deli paper and I'm going to make just a sheet of black printed collage paper. Um, in this case I did a, a circle sheet, um, but you could do any shape. And you could just make two or three of these and these are great to add to any of your collage projects. So think about doing that with some of your leftover paint and just a solid color. You don't have to make them wildly crazy. Just, I like to just add something that's just a black embellishment to things. 
All right. Okay, I'll be we back. have our two sticker sheets, and I want to um, put something on here in white. And I have this wooden stamp that was given that was gifted to me in a happy mailbox from Patty Tolly Parish, I believe. Um, and I have some white paint out here, so I'm gonna just dip it in. some more paint. Yeah, I need more paint. Okay, I'm happy with that. And let's do the same thing to this other one. Need some more white paint. Oops. Try not to splatter white paint everywhere. the leftover paint that's on here and that's it we're gonna let that dry and we will be back okay guys our sticker sheets are dry and I don't know if you remember when we started this one I had two sections over here if I can find them somewhere on here that were just big over here <laughs> that were big stickers they're not that label so I have two sheets here two sections that are just a bit one giant sticker and then these down here are the address labels. So when you're done painting them, you can just pull off this and use it on as an embellishment on anything. These up here, though, I'm going to take the opportunity that I have here, and I am going to punch them with one of my decorative punches. There we go. So now I have all these little sections there's like six or nine address labels now that I've painted them I don't remember how many on each one of these sections and then we've got this sheet too and you can use this embellishment in your work you can send them in happy mail these are cool too these can be punched I have some fun punches here. I've been dying for this to dry so I could use these. This one is like a postage stamp punch. Look at that. And you just peel off the backing paper. And you have a fun little custom made embellishment that nobody else is going to have. So I'm going to probably end up punching this whole sheet. Look at those. Aren't those cute? And then I have another one over here. That's a little round punch. So isn't that fun? So use that. See what you think. Make yourself some homemade embellishments. And if you um, come up with any interesting variations, let me know. All right, don't forget to go out today and do something nice for yourself. You deserve it. See you later.